When you bring science into food, you can actually create new concepts with different flavors or different tastes. And whatever you think of, we could probably make because we are not depending on an animal to make it for us. My name is Lauren Madden. I'm the principal scientist at Blue Nalu here in San Diego, California. Blue Nalu is a food company based in innovative technologies. We make seafood products from cells. Say, for example, you take a yogurt, which is a cell-based product. If you take a small amount of that yogurt, you can seed an additional milk and create more yogurt from that seed. The seafood industry, we're talking a billions of dollar industry. Nobody has an alternative product on the market yet. In the timeline, it's projected at least five years out. We're hoping that Blue Nalu could be a real provider of seafood products from cells. Here I have cells that were originally isolated from the muscle of a fish, and we're just gonna look at them on the microscope to assess their health and viability. The precursor cells on the outside of the muscle fibers are what we harvest to use in our fish products. We do not make any changes to the genetic material of the cells that we're sourcing. Muscle has an innate ability to regenerate. For example, if we were going to make a tuna, we actually collect muscle cells from the tuna and then propagate them in an in vitro environment. In vitro simply means in the dish. Once they take up the majority of the dish, we'll split them into more dishes and they'll continue to grow. We grow those cells exponentially to achieve very high volume to generate what could never be done in a single animal. The advantage of growing fish out of the ocean is that they're not subject to the same pollutants or same potential contaminants that you would find in the ocean. We feel that we can be revolutionary in providing local jobs that will fit into the San Diego blue tech environment where people have a focus on ocean health and the ocean community. As principal scientist of Blue Nalu, I run the R&D side, so the different lab-based operations, thinking of experiments to do and ways to solve all the potential problems. In addition, I work on project planning, managing younger scientists and training younger scientists, as well as interacting with outside contractors and vendors for whatever our research and development needs are. For my job, I went through a bachelor's in chemical engineering and then a PhD in bioengineering. If you're just getting into science, there are some biotechnology development certificate programs that are great entry-level starts. To be a scientist, first and foremost, you have to be interested in science, whether it's biology, chemistry, physics. Regardless of what level you're at, you always understand that science moves forward and you have to continuously learn new tasks, new techniques to be innovative and to produce new things. The other is the ability to really work well with individuals in a team atmosphere. To some degree, it depends on you understanding failure. Failure is okay, and you learn from your failures, and you keep moving forward, and eventually you will succeed. Once you're leading a research and development team, you can either stay on the scientific side, or you can go more on the management and business development side. You can definitely make a living as a scientist. The pay scale can be exponential as you move up on the scientist ladder. How is the experimental outline going? I just cryoed another round of cells today. I love my job at Blue Nalu. It's really, really exciting. We're constantly solving different biological problems. We can really see a need for innovative seafood products that are going to help our oceans, help sustainability, and it will create a much more efficient food generation system.